Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome back to another awesome edition of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we'll be discussing Practice Makes Perfect, the importance of practice and preparation for pitching in the video game industry. From vision to victory, strategies for crafting compelling pitches and navigating the competitive landscape of the video game industry. In the vibrant and ever-evolving world of video games, where innovation meets art and technology, The journey of bringing a new game to market is fraught with challenges and competition. At the heart of this journey is the pitch, a critical moment where developers and creators have the opportunity to sell their vision and secure the support needed to turn their dreams into digital realities. This podcast delves into the indispensable role of practice and preparation in mastering the art of pitching within the video game industry. With insights from industry experts, analysis of successful pitches, and a comprehensive guide on crafting and delivering compelling presentations, we aim to provide a roadmap for developers looking to make their mark in this dynamic field. The Art of the Pitch in Video Games The pitch process in the video game industry is a unique blend of storytelling, technical demonstration, and market analysis. Unlike other sectors where the focus might be solely on financials or feasibility, Video game pitches must capture the imagination of the audience, demonstrate the game's potential for fun and engagement, and convince stakeholders of its commercial viability. This multifaceted challenge requires a deep understanding of both the creative and business aspects of the industry. Understanding your audience. Before diving into the mechanics of successful pitch, it's crucial to understand the audience. In the video game industry, your audience can vary significantly from publishers and investors to potential collaborators and the gaming community at large. Each audience has different interests and priorities. For instance, publishers might be focused on market trends and profitability, while developers may prioritize the game's innovation and technical aspects. Tailing your pitch to address the specific concerns and interests of your audience is the first step in a successful presentation. The importance of practice. Practice is not merely a rehearsal of what you plan to say. It's an iterative process of refining your message, delivery, and even your understanding of your own project. Through practice, you can discover the most compelling aspects of your game, identifying potential weaknesses in your pitch, and develop confidence in your presentation skills. Engaging in mock pitches, seeking feedback from peers, and even practicing in front of a mirror can reveal insights that will strengthen your final pitch. Preparation beyond the pitch deck. While a well-designed pitch deck is crucial, Preparation for a pitch extends far beyond slides. It involves a deep dive into market research, understanding current trends in gaming, anticipating questions about your game's design and business model, and preparing to discuss technical details with confidence. Preparation also means having a playable demo or prototype ready, as showing is often more effective than telling when it comes to video games. Crafting a compelling narrative. At its core, every game is a story, and your pitch should be too. Crafting a narrative that weaves together the vision, the unique selling points of your game, and its potential impact on the market can captivate your audience. Start with the inspiration behind the game. Describe the world you're creating and the experiences you aim to provide, and articulate how it stands out from existing titles. A compelling narrative not only sells your game, but also demonstrates your passion and vision. Demonstrating market awareness. The video game industry is highly competitive with thousands of games released every year. 
Demonstrating a clear understanding of the market, including trends, competitor analysis, and target demographics is essential. This doesn't mean you should discourage innovation in favor of following trends, but rather show how your game fits into the larger market landscape. Evidence of market research and potential revenue models shows that you're not just a creator, but a savvy business person. Technical Mastery and Innovation A significant part of your pitch will involve showcasing the technical aspects of your game. This includes discussing the game's mechanics, technology stack, art style, and any innovations that set it apart. Being able to speak confidently and in detail about these elements indicates that you have a deep understanding of your game and its development process. However, balance is key. While it's important to highlight technical achievements, the focus should always return to how these elements serve the game's overall experience and story. Handling feedback and questions. No matter how well you prepare, there will always be questions and feedback, some of which may be challenging. Approaching these moments with openness and professionalism can turn potential obstacles into opportunities for further engagement. Practicing responses to tough questions or critiques can help you handle these situations gracefully during your actual pitch. Adaptability, the key to dynamic presentations. One of the most crucial skills in pitching is adaptability. While practice and preparation is, are indispensable, the ability to read the room and adjust your pitch on the fly can make the difference between success and failure. This means being prepared to shorten your presentation for time constraints, expand on aspects that are garnering interest, or pivot your focus based on the audience's questions and reactions. Adaptability also involves preparing different versions of your pitch for different audiences, highlighting the elements most relevant to each. Visual Storytelling Show, Don't Tell in a medium as visual as video games, the added show don't tell holds significant weight. Your pitch should leverage visual storytelling wherever possible, using concept art, trailers, gameplay footage, and prototypes to bring your game to life. Visuals can convey the essence of your game more effectively than words alone, evoking emotions and excitement. When preparing visuals, focus on quality and relevance. Each piece should serve a purpose in illustrating your game's vision, gameplay, mechanics, art style, or narrative. The power of a playable demo. A playable demo can be one of your strongest assets in a pitch. It offers tangible proof of your game's potential and gives stakeholders a first-hand experience of its gameplay, art, and innovation. However, developing a demo requires significant resources, so it's important to focus on creating a concise, impactful experience that showcases your game's core mechanics and unique features. A well-crafted demo not only demonstrates your technical and creative abilities, but also can spark excitement and engagement more effectively than any other part of your pitch. A clear call to action. Every successful pitch ends with a clear call to action. What do you want your audience to do after hearing your pitch? Whether it's securing funding, forming a partnership, or simply gaining support for your project, your call to action should be specific, achievable, and relevant to the audience. Be clear about the resources you need, the timeline you envision, and the next steps you propose. A compelling call to action leaves your audience with a clear understanding of how they could be a part of your game's journey. Preparing for the long haul, follow-ups and building relationships. The pitch itself is just the beginning. Building relationships with publishers, investors, and other stakeholders is a process that extends well beyond the initial presentation. Follow-up meetings, updates on your game's progress, and continuous networking are essential for keeping the momentum going. Even if a pitch does not immediately result in a partnership or investment, the relationships you build can open doors in the future. Be persistent, professional, and positive. Keeping in mind that the video game industry is more about people than it is about products. Embracing rejection as a learning opportunity. Rejection is an inevitable part of the pitching process, but it's not the end of the road. Instead, view each rejection as an opportunity to learn and improve. Solicit feedback whenever possible and use it to refine your game, your pitch, and your understanding of the market. The resilience and learning that comes from dealing with rejection can ultimately lead to a stronger project and a more successful pitch in the future. Final thoughts. Your pitch is the beginning of a journey. The journey of pitching your video game is a microcosm of game development itself, requiring creativity, technical skill, strategic thinking, and perseverance. By embracing the principles of practice, preparation, adaptability, and continuous learning, you can navigate the challenges of the pitch process and move closer to bringing your game to the world. Remember, every pitch, regardless of its immediate outcome, is a step forward in your development journey, providing valuable experiences and insights. With passion, preparation, and persistence, your pitch can pave the way to your game success in the dynamic and exciting world of video games. All right, and that's this week's episode of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thanks for listening, and as always, thanks for being awesome. Press start leadership.
Hi there. The episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. If you're on the quest to elevate your team's leadership, production, or game design capabilities, I'm here to assist. Leveraging extensive experience and a strategic approach, I offer personalized audits, bespoke workshops, and leadership retreat facilitation to drive your team toward excellence. My commitment is to provide efficient, reliable, and proven support, ensuring you have the tools and insights needed to thrive. Ready to unlock your team's full potential and achieve unparalleled success? Don't hesitate to press start on your journey to transformation today. Feel free to reach out directly to discuss how we can tailor a solution to meet your unique needs and goals. Let's connect and take your team's performance to the next level.